What is happening, D-Blankers? My name is Dion, and you are watching Dion D Spin Tires. Welcome to the ridiculous edition of Spin Tires. We are going to be going through a lot of ridiculous vehicles in a ridiculous setting of, well, lots of snow. I guess snow in itself isn't ridiculous, but it's going to be fun! It's a winter wonderland. Right, so we're in our AVP over here, and I actually don't know what it's used for in real life. Let's go AVP! Look at this buggy, it's so cool! I want one in real life now. Can you imagine going to work in one of these things? You just be like, ha! Look at you and your four wheels. The more the merrier, I've got freaking eight wheels! I wonder what it's like in the mud! Mind you, this is snowy mud. So I don't know if it's gonna be different or if it's gonna be hard or what the difference is. Well, it's still a lot like mud! It definitely has that texture. Oh, check this out. We can just get right on in there. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Hold on. Let's turn on the all-wheel drive. Wow! Mud be gone! It'd be so cool, though, if we could put some stuff into the back, because in the full release game, you'll be able to actually, like, tow stuff, put stuff. It'll be absolutely awesome. Oh, man, this thing is gonna be so boss. I bet it's just gonna climb on top of this thing. It's gonna have so much control. Wait, let's watch it. Let's watch it. Go, go, and I want you to stop at the top. I want you to stop at the top. Oh, yeah, yeah, perfect. Perfect, freaking perfect. This is amazing. Look at this thing. It's, it reminds me of like a caterpillar because it has so many wheels and, wow. Oh, so, so amazing. <laughs> but unfortunately, it could not overpower the, the light pole. Salute you! Oh, America! Freaking patriotism just comes out right there and then. You just cannot look at this thing and not think about hamburgers, hot dogs, soda, pizza, McDonald's, Burger King, fast food, Pamela Anderson. But will the snow be mightier than the vehicle? That is the question. Well, the Bronco is formidable. It can withstand these kind of conditions. Yes! The persistence of the Bronco, the little Bronco that could. Could there be deer? Could there be geese? Could there be a moose? Or could there be the Yeti himself? Will we run into any of those things? Probably not. Wait! If this is winter time, shouldn't the river be covered with ice? Or at least some of it? Oh man. I guess this jelly water doesn't freeze over. We've even got a dude in the inside. All the way from America just to drive through this Russian outback. Oh yeah. Yeah, that will be a story to tell your kids about how the Bronco, that could. Well, this feels strange to say the least. It's a quad bike with nobody on it. This kind of reminds me of like the Headless Horseman and it's already getting stuck in a place that doesn't even have like, I don't know, mud to get stuck in. Ah, oh, but it's so fast. I feel like we could do some amazing tricks with this thing. Wait. Wait, let's see how it does with the mud. Oh, just plows right through it. That is so amazing. So you wanted to see tricks. Well, here you go. Oh yeah, big time air. That was nice. Now all we need to make this more awesome is to have somebody driving it, somebody hanging for their dear life on the back, and somebody who's probably gonna die by hanging on the front, just like turbo dismount style. Well, all right, I'm gonna start my shift and go pick up all the kids in this rural outback and take them to the school that is about 100 miles away, the local school. I have to start my shift at about 2 o'clock in the morning just so that we can pick up the kids. Some of them obviously will have to wake about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning just so they can get picked up and taken to their school. That will be about 100 miles away. And when they return home, it'll probably be about midnight, so they get about two hours of sleep, if at most. Okay, kids, here I come! It's the magic school bus with no apparent driver. It's a ghostly school bus. We had to cut costs and just make it into a Google school bus, so it drives itself. Because nobody humanely wants to actually wake up at 2 o'clock to just drive a school bus and get kids to school. Yep, not at all. Let's see if this magic school bus... Can pull off some magic tricks though. That's what I'm interested in. Oh! Well, it can make a tree disappear. Uh, but it's actually having trouble plowing over the tree. In fact, 
We're stuck in the tree! Damn it! It looks like we're gonna have to call off school for the day. We're gonna have to go to the school bus because the kids cannot miss more than a day of school. And yes, we're using an ambulance to do it. It's just because it looks so damn badass. Even though there's no one to actually save on the school bus. Not that, you know, there's anyone actually inside the school bus. We just have to go there because it's a, an emergency. This is an absolute emergency. Quicker! Faster! Wait, can we not go faster? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh! Oh! To the scene of the disaster! Oh! No! Okay, I think we're a little bit stuck here. Uh, we'll have to just get ourselves out before we can rescue the school bus. This might be a little problematic. Oh, damn it! Well, this is great. It looks like the rescue vehicle needs rescued. So I guess we're gonna end this ridiculous edition of Spin Tires here. But I cannot wait to play the full version tonight! Look forward to those videos that are going to be coming out of single player and multiplayer. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, and until then, you know exactly what to do. Get your power fist, and smash that like button! Until the next video, this is Dion, and I will catch you next time! Have you ever wondered how cars produce more cars?